Hello, my name is Jimena Espinosa. I am part of group five and our group decided to do the project over the contagion theory. This will be presented by me, Jimena Espinosa, Kirsten Ringo, Kristen Shelton, Rayleigh Middleton, and Kaylin Brooks. We all take speech 1318 by Professor Kathy. All right, so what exactly is the contagion theory? The contagion theory, basically to sum it up, is how behaviors are spread and influenced by society, specifically the ones around you. According to the APA Dictionary of Psychology, social contagion is the spread of behaviors, attitudes, and the effect through crowds and other types of social aggregates from one member to another. And I cited, I cited it, APA 21. It is much like mimicry and imitation due to the fact of wanting to fit in with society and anyone around you. Okay, so who does it affect? What does it affect? It affects you and it affects society. Because if you, if you start doing it because society does, the person behind you is going to do it as well. They're going to start following, following and following. It's like a domino effect, basically. All right, so diagnosis. So contagion is described as like a disease and spread by people being too close but for, to one another but this is more of like a social disease it doesn't make you sick but it affects how you act how you act around other people so recommendations nothing is better than being yourself don't let society influence you that much because it might not always be the right thing so if you click it's going to lead you to, if you click to the example it's going to lead you to this video and it's going to and it's going to show i included this video because it's going to show how this theory occurs in society so this woman when you're in an elevator you typically face the right way to see when you're when you're going to get off so she's facing the doors that's her right there and everyone else was hired to face backwards like how are they going to know when it's their stop if they're facing away from the door but throughout the video you're going to see how it affects her reinforce the behavior emily's acting like it's the most normal oh nadia's turned nadia it as she saw that person walk in, she slightly turns around, but you can see she starts getting a little anxious and nervous because she doesn't really know what to do, and she starts messing with her bag to make it look like she's being smooth, smooth with it. Bag is slipping off her shoulder. See? She's nervously playing with it. Yeah. Nadia is now halfway round. She's not turned all the way around because she hasn't really convinced herself yet. Like, she hasn't. She still doesn't think it's really that right. So, she's just kind of halfway turned. Will she go any further? Emily gets off. Mike gets off. Again, Mike works for the show. Presses his button. Faces the back. They're all in the wrong. The thing in the world like he does it every day. Nadia is really feeling the pressure right now. I'm not going to see anyone else. Scott's making some small talk. He was in a celebrity rehab. She's looking towards the back of the elevator, which is everybody else's. Floor four. Fourth floor, Mike gets off. Lauren gets on. Lauren also works for us. She's in. Oh, and Nadia, Nadia, Nadia has gone. See? She has completely turned all the way around. The more people that the more the more of the people that came in and turned around, the more she started turning around, the more she convinced herself that it was the right thing to do. Which it wasn't. And so, in conclusion, just because society does, just because everyone else is doing it, doesn't mean it's the right thing to do. It just shows how us humans strive to be liked. Like, we strive to be, to fit in with society, like I mentioned before. All right, so I'm going to pass this now to Christian Shelton, and he will continue talking and informing y'all about the contagion theory. Thank you.